Hello students, in this session of differentiability, we study the relation between the differentiability and the continuity. Well, very important that both are based on the limits. So, when we say continuity, that is function is continuous at x is equal to c, what does it imply? This implies that limit as x tends to c from the negative side of f of x, this is equal to f of c and this is equal to limit x tends to c from positive side f of x. Then only we say the function is continuous. Well, again, what we observe is that if I draw the diagram, then I have say this is x is equal to c and I take again a positive quantity h on both the sides. And I start approaching, now this is c plus h and this is c minus h. So, if I approach this x is equal to c from right hand side, then this is right hand limit which is equal to limit as h tends to 0 f of c plus h and if I approach from left hand side, we call this as left hand limit which is equal to limit again as h tends to 0 f of c minus h. That is, these left hand limit and right hand limit are evaluated this way. And if it is equal to f of c, then we say that the function is continuous at x is equal to c. Now, when I look at this particular concept of limit, now we also take function is differentiable at say x is equal to c if left hand derivative which is equal to limit as h tends to 0 f of c minus h minus f of c upon minus h exists and right hand derivative this is equal to limit as h tends to 0 f of c plus h minus f of c upon h. Well, as we had drawn in differentiability, I again redo it, that is, I have this scenario, this is h, h, this is x is equal to c, this is x is equal to 
c minus h this is x is equal to c plus h by this point b is c plus h f of c plus h a is c f of c and this point which is c I write it as c minus h f of c minus h and from this we get this and when both exist and are equal if left hand derivative is equal to right hand derivative then function is differentiable that is derivative exists now what is the important aspect in both of these very important that both are the limits so function must be continuous for it to be differentiable very important that I am taking a left hand limit and right hand limit now if the function does not exist at x is equal to a then definitely derivative will never exist say so for example I will take say greatest integer function I can definitely say at the point of integers say 1, 2, 0 and I take care this way function is not continuous. So, I cannot think of left hand derivative and right hand derivative. So, if I say from here left hand derivative does not exist. I am seeing function is not continuous at x is equal to i. Now, very important then here that function needs to be continuous to be differentiable. Now, second aspect to it is A continuous function need not be differentiable. At a particular point. Say again let us take up a example, I take mod function, now what is my observation? My observation is that this function at x is equal to 0 is continuous. 
what I am seeing at x is equal to 0, f of x is equal to mod x is 0 at x is equal to 0. And you will see that left hand limit and right hand limit at x is equal to 0 is 0. So, the limit exists, it is continuous, but, but, If you see the left hand derivative at x is equal to 0 is minus 1. When we see the function has a derivative, from the definition of derivative, it is the slope of the tangent. So, when I start approaching 0 from left hand side, my left hand derivative is minus 1. Well, we already seen that here m is equal to minus 1, which is the dy by dx, which is equal to minus 1. And when I see from this side, then m is equal to 1. That is, right hand derivative at x is equal to 0 is 1. That is, left hand derivative is not equal to right hand derivative. Derivative does not exist. So, a very important con conclusion here that a function must be continuous to be differentiable. Secondly, a continuous function need not be differentiable at a particular point. It may be continuous, but it may not be differentiable. A particular example is given. Whereas, a differentiable function is always continuous. Very important that I am seeing at this point, the function is differentiable. That is automatically telling us that it is continuous and both the limits are existent. So, a differentiable function is always continuous, whereas a continuous function need not be differentiable.